not dead, but sleepeth. When Jesus found the mourners bewailing the death of Jairus' daughter, he put them forth, saying, The maid is not dead, but sleepeth. Then he awakened her. Man does not die the same as beast. Although death to man and beast is cessation of life, yet to man God has given precious promises of a future life by a resurrection. There are numerous assurances that mankind shall be restored from death to receive things promised. Therefore the scriptures speak of man as not dying, but merely falling asleep. The unconscious sleepers are all promised an awakening in the resurrection morn. Jesus declared that all in their grave shall hear his voice and come forth, some to a life of eternal reward for present faithfulness, others to a trial or judgment to determine their everlasting destiny. Jesus awakened Lazarus, whose sisters were Martha and Mary, at whose home he frequently stopped at Bethany. When Lazarus was seriously sick, the sisters sent Jesus the message, Lord, he whom thou lovest is sick. To their surprise, he allowed Lazarus to die. Mentioning the matter to his disciples, he said, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. And later, Jesus said unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Jesus said not a word about the dead going to heaven, purgatory, or hell, as was once believed. This word sleep has long been used as symbolical of death. Abraham slept with his fathers, and his fathers were heathens. St. Paul refers to those who sleep in Jesus and tells us we shall not all sleep, referring to those who remain alive until the establishment of Messiah's kingdom and the first resurrection at the beginning of his reign. These sleep neither in heaven, purgatory, nor a hell of torment. The Bible declares they that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to shine as stars, and others to be in contempt and shame until they have demonstrated their repentance and loyalty. Uh -huh.